Hello everyone, welcome back to a daily run with Blue Baby and me. Let's go. Oh yeah, poop. I haven't played with Blue Baby for such a long time. Don't know if it's uh, some sort of combination of not playing some dailies and therefore missing the Blue Babies, or if Blue Baby is just not showing up for quite a long time. Uh, chemical Peel seems decent. But we all know how this works. Uh, you have to run on Spirit Hearts, you can't take red hearts at all. Probably should not have come to the secret, uh, the curse room. Because now we have to replace not only that spirit heart, but also the next one that we need to be able to buy a deal with the devil on the next floor. Which we're guaranteed to get, because we can't take red heart damage. A bit like the lost. But, unlike the lost, we have to pay for our deals with the devil. Oh, that was really bad. Hmm. Well, we've taken some damage anyway. So I suppose, I mean, all things considered, we were never going to get the deal with the devil on the next floor without at least some help in the form of spirit hearts. Where are these things popping up? Hello? There's one. Take it out. Kill it. Uh, okay. So, I guess we just hope for the best. I mean, blue baby runs can end reasonably quickly, especially... We didn't really get a stupidly good start. Um, we don't start badly, it's basically an Isaac start. But the inability to reliably heal means that you really have to not take the damage in the first place. So intentionally causing ourselves to, well, a full heart of damage on the curse room straight away may not have been the most sensible of, of plays. But we'll, uh, we'll keep going and see whether it actually turns around and bites us in the arse or whether it uh, turns out to have been a good play. It was never going to have been a good play because it turned out to have had a troll bomb in it, but we'll see whether it was not that bad a play. We could just easily die straight up on the boss. It's not unheard of. Um, Little Horn can be a bit of a pest, and we're not really doing Judas levels of damage, so it's not going to be Judas levels of quick. And we've not got Azazel levels of damage, so we're not going to have Ludovico Brimstone like we had yesterday. Spoilers. Yo, watch them in order. I ain't... I'm not going to be responsible uh, for anything in my entire life. I mean, uh, for you not watching the Isaac episodes in order, if you didn't see yesterday's, go back and watch it now. Spoilers, we get Ludo Brimstone. Oh, it's brilliant. It was an Azazel run. We got our HP back, more by luck than judgement, mostly because Eternal Hearts manifest as Spirit Hearts anyway. Uh, which, I guess is just... the by the grace of Edmund, I suppose. Um, I'd really like to do a little bit more just damage. Just straight up boring, old fashioned, hit harder damage. Can we do any min max stuff in this room? I suspect not. I don't want to do that. I'd rather find our item room. I mean, we could probably do. Oh, we haven't got any bombs at all, so we can't do anything yet. I sort of assume that I have things like bombs. And then. I look aside and I go, wait a minute, there's a zero where my bombs should be. Ooh, nothing. Okay. Should we do it again? Nothing. Man, the poop. You know, it seems on the face of it a stupendously good item. Which it doesn't. Uh, but it never turns out to be that, that, you know, hero that Gotham needs. Just always turns out to be very disappointing. I'm trying to take damage against this. If it drops HP, that's even better, because it will be another Spirit Heart. Oh, just a Spirit Heart, I mean. You know, whatever. I'm not really complaining. The gluttony fight. Certainly helps us out with the deal with the Devil, which we talked about already. I guess we'll go this way then. Tech 2. I kind of like Tech 2. Many people would disagree with that, and I would understand the disagreement. Tech 2 is a damage downgrade. I'm not sure if it applies to just the laser. Or our tears as well. But the fact that it's sustained damage over a long distance. It's really good, especially as Blue Baby, when you don't want to get near to the, uh, the enemies if you can possibly avoid it. Where's this jackass at, though? There you are. And uh, of course, it apparently deals significantly quick ticks of damage to poop. So if we're going to be stuck with the poop, we might as well break them quickly and move on. It's not a spacebar item, so we are... St well, there's poopies. The Tech 2 is not a spacebar item, so we're stuck for now with the poop. It also halves our tears output, because one of our eyes is now a laser, which is pretty nice. I mean, 
you don't have to talk to many people to get a consensus opinion that having a laser instead of an eyeball might be pretty sweet. Especially if that laser does consistent damage to those who have wronged you in the past. Seems a little bit megalomaniac, but no, we're only on this earth once. Yeah, I'm not even going to shoot that poop. Hell with it. Can we have, like, the boss now? <laughs> I hope it's at the other edge of this room. Not really at home for... Wandering around the Curse of the Lost Floor, doing big rooms all the time, with the poop. Not even recharging a decent item consistently. Looking for the boss fight. That was very close. But we survived. Where is my boss? We have been here forever. And a day. Here is my boss. Now we kill our boss. Look. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's probably not great to kill our boss. How many people have not entertained the notion? Ooh, a penny. But how many people, when they shoot their own poop, get coins? It's probably not that close to reality. Shouldn't put too much stock in it, if I'm honest with you. Oh, come on, Ragman. I can stay as far away from you as I damn well please. Besides which, apparently I can shoot literally the length of the floor uh, room with my actual tears as well, which is super good. I can kill these heads before they turn into spiders. That would also be great. I can just about manage it. With sustained fire, but he's going to spawn a spider anyway, so... Fuck me, I guess. That is done. We didn't take any damage, as far as I know, on this entire floor. We get a range and look upgrade. Is it Spirit Heart? It is not. Is it Krampus? It is not. Do we want either of this? We do not. This is a difficult one. We take this because I want the precedent. I don't really care about these, uh, <laughs> these amazing numbers of poops that we just made, so we'll leave. Oh, this is not turning out well. Um, we're not doing badly, but oh, I was going to say, just take something like the Flooded Caves 1. You know, a difficult ish room with slightly tanky or just obnoxious enemies. Just to whittle us down that little bit. Not to provide us with any spirit hearts or um, equivalents of spirit hearts. I panicked a little bit there, but it paid off. It didn't pay off, it just didn't go wrong, if you see what I mean. Um, we're going to have to be on our best dodging behaviour. We're going to have to be artful dodgers, if, if you will pardon the pun. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. We should probably be popping these poops, because they could contain spirit hearts themselves. To kill these. Don't forget, Tech 2 is piercing. So our real play there is to try and line the enemies up. Which we could do with these, because obviously we we can control somewhat where they go. But I don't seem to be able to do that myself, so whatever. At least we can see where we're going. Let's fight the frail, see if we survive. And then if we do survive, we will go ahead and look for our item room and possibly our shop, hopefully on the way. We will get enough coins to go to the shop and actually buy something that will make this run... It will drag it out of what is starting to become a doldrums type run. We have already, you know, we've been here for ages and we've only just got it to this second phase here. Also, I'm not a fan of this at all. It's just going so fast all of a sudden. Ooh, that was painful. These are extremely difficult to dodge if you're not paying 100% of attention, which as usual, I'm not. And this is an awful part of this fight as well. When really doing no damage at all, you can tell. It's taken us forever to do anything. Which is mostly Tech 2's fault, but I mean, it's my fault for it being Tech 2's fault, if that makes sense. I took Tech 2, is what I'm saying. Uh, we can't really do anything here, but we could blow this guy up and see what we win. Uh, we won a Spirit Heart, but I still don't really want to take either of these things. Which is a shame, because if they were in the previous floor, I probably would have preferred to have... Um, the black powder than the multi-dimensional baby that we did get because we're only using half of our tears so multi-dimensional baby is only really half as effective right now. Yikes! People really really say yikes IRL and it was me. Did you know that? I thought it was just a Beano word but nope. Yikes is a thing. Chest. A pill. Hemosomiasis does nothing for us. We shall take it. 
Let's put as many of these on the ground and maybe Dark Bum will show up at random and save the day. Oh, we can just go down to the next floor, so that's kind of nice. I mean, it would be much more helpful uh, on the Mom's Heart fight, which, by the way, we're going to. Uh, so, no hush fight. We do want to make boss rush, but honestly, I'm not sure if we have the power to reach boss rush. You multi-dimensional baby for finishing that off for me. We're going to try to make boss rush, but I'm honestly not convinced whether we can go fast enough. Just on a straight up how fast can we kill a room consideration, I don't know if we have the speed necessary to get that far that fast. Pretty fly, we should do this. It'd give us a luck upgrade, which is fairly valuable, I have to be honest. Aha. So any sort of damage upgrade is certainly going to help us with this Tech 2 pickup, which I still stand by, although that was probably the worst place for me to be when those three things popped up. And you don't get um, you don't get to control where they pop up, you just get to control where you are when they pop up, and I happen to be in the wrong place, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, Tech 2's damage is okay, it can kill one of these in one sustained sort of burst. But it's not really fast enough, so we'd like to improve it. Hopefully this item room has something other than utter trash for us, but... Well, the fact we're still alive is amazing. And it is Cricket's Head, which is probably one of the best damage upgrades there is in the game, so... Can't be too salty about that. Let's see if we can find one more penny, then. I'd be a bit salty if we had 14 pennies and the option to get Sack Boy Head. Sack Head Boy Head. Uh, and all these poops are just going to give us fucking red hearts. What is going on? Penny. Penny. No. Penny. No. Pennies? Well, it's a space floor item. It literally has no value for us. But it's a guppy item. And there's a second guppy item. And this is a better space floor. That's, well, I mean, if we don't get a single penny on this floor, which it looks like we're not going to... At least we came away with two guppy items. And... Uh, cricket's head. Which is really, really good. Oh, I really want an extra penny. Where are you? There's got to be fire somewhere. Shoot all the fires. Shoot everything. There's so many red hearts on the ground. It's like the game's trolling us. Because yesterday, we could have used red hearts. We didn't need them. It's not like I can really complain that we didn't do well yesterday. But, you know, where, where's my spirit hearts and my penny to get that thing? Water is the stuff of life. But according to that... No, there's some fucking pennies right now. I'm not going in there. That would be a bad idea. Uh, according to the little clock, we're not going fast enough. But we did get a sweet-ass damage upgrade, so hopefully we'll go a little bit faster right now. That was a very good place for you to be. Keep shooting with... Whoa! Did multi-dimensional baby just save me from that? That may be the case. I didn't think it blocked shots, but it made it. No, no, no. I'm going to stay here if that's alright with you. And then I'll go back. And then I'll dodge this. And then we'll go back. Once the damage to a baby's double shots, I think, apart from the fact there's two of them, I think each one does more damage as well. So we're going to try and use that as much as possible, but... That may not be very much, if you know what I mean. It's kind of difficult to, to swing it. Oh, hello. Not a fan of that either. Now, if you pop those poops in the middle, the room becomes a lot easier, because it does damage to everything on the room. However, if you do that, that's where the item will spawn that you get for beating the room in the first place. So if you need to, you know, pop the poops to beat the room, you don't get the item. That's a pretty cool mechanic. It's not even a mechanic, it's just, you know, a, a smart use of the existing mechanics to make a room slightly more challenging in terms of the payoff. And these things really need to get out of here. You can see how much more damage our single tier does compared to Tech 2, because, you know, Tech 2 takes fucking ages to kill something. But when the tier arrives, at least Tech 2's put a little bit of effort in, softened it up somewhat. See so if we can get some decent stuff out of these mushrooms. Seems like a good bomb economy to get several mushrooms with one, but 
I don't want to spend one bomb on each mushroom just on the minor off chance that there's a, a magic mushroom there or something. Host tag is pretty good. That saves us from all explosive damage. It protects us from all explosive damage. Maybe we can get probably just four here, but... Oh, only three because I placed it badly. And uh, now we've got Curse of the Maze, so I guess we'll go this way. We did find our boss as a result of it. Help. We're okay. Do I want to find the shop? Not particularly. Oh, we have 20 cents. I mean, there's a small chance that... Um, what did we miss? Sack head? There's a small chance it shows up again on the shop. So maybe we should go. We found it anyway, so it was probably um, not so much worthy of discussion as it was to just get on with it. But here we go. Still do with some damage upgrades. It's not a starter deck, that's deck of cards, which is probably not as good of a spacebar item as Guppy's head. At least the damage output from the flies is a significant quantity of our damage output right now. So we don't want to get rid of Guppy's head until we become Guppy at the you know very latest. Or earliest, I suppose. And deck of cards, it can be good for us. The options of cards in the game are, are very diverse. We could end up with, um, you know, a, a hero fan card or something like that that carries us. Especially if we could get blank card. Blank card hero fan is just basically an I win button for blue baby because it's suddenly a consistent source of uh, spirit hearts that keeps you alive. Well, we're fast now. Well, all we need to do is not die. Get to at least you know, the end of the run and hopefully then be slightly competitive. But I, of course, would like to be able to go that little bit further if the game allows it. So we're going to hope that if we are g if there's going to be a scene that we're going to be able to find it. We will open this. We have enough keys. It has a spirit heart in it, which is slightly nice. That was a very lucky not being in the wrong place, which, you know, some people may generously call a dodge, I would just say it was pure happenstance that I wasn't in the position that the bullet was firing in. That's not even being, you know, cruel against myself. I I'm perfectly happy to recognise when I make a particularly good or just sensibly lucky dodge. But in that case, I was just... Those things are always the same to me. I have to be in the right place to not be hit by the radial shots. There's no dodging involved. There's no sense to it. You just... Try not to move when you shouldn't be moving. Wouldn't mind small rock. We have a lot of HP now, which is actually really nice. Because Blue Baby collecting HP is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, tech 2 and Tech 1. Fine. It's done. I think we do get two lasers when it goes through multi-dimensional babies. So it's not like we've actually wasted the HP that we spent on multi-dimensional baby. Plus it's possible to maybe suggest... You could almost justify that the deal with the devil precedent was enough value uh, for taking multi-dimensional baby. I would say not for three spirit hearts. But, depending on what the angel runes could have given us but didn't, because we didn't get them, it could well have been worth taking the, the three heart deal just to be able to get further deals in the future. Now, we haven't actually been able to take further deals in the future, which are now the past. Is there, another, there is another enemy on this level. That's why I can't do damage to it. There we go. Uh, I would like to get in there, but I'm not sure I can. I don't know a way of getting in there without flight, or at least some way of launching bombs. Which we don't have. Either of. Let's go to this. And then we only need to worry about this. I suppose the reason you don't want to take tech. Tech 1 is pretty strong. It's a good item. The reason you don't want to take tech 1 is that you then don't have the opportunity to bank shots. You can't shoot around corners, basically. Oh, God. Stay away from me. Keep back. Oh, you... you jerk face. You meanie. I don't I've got our HP back. I've got another speed upgrade, which I will take because I don't know what's good for me. Have we even found the item room? I think we got tech one from it, didn't we? Should we just go? Kind of want to find a shop. No, we should just go. I don't know if we're going to be able to make boss rush even if we left right now, so... We'll leg it. 
as fast as is blue babyly possible. Assume blue baby's human, it's just in theory dead Isaac. Isaac's human. I mean it's called Isaac. It'd be very odd if aliens not only had similar physiology to us, but also similar naming conventions of their young. Or even similar sounds to their words. Fuck it. <laughs> that was really difficult. Didn't realise how strong the, um, the the vortex was pulling us in. Bye. Secret room. Man. Tech 1 is pretty good. It, I think it does the same damage as your tears. Full card. Well, now we can just go straight to boss rush. Beat it, hopefully, and uh, leave again. Oh, that was stupid. But we need to know where it is. Reroll. Not a reroll. We shouldn't be doing this. Why are we not doing this? We should take this and then pick everything up. And then take this. Very good. Uh, we should just run straight to the boss if we can find it. I very much doubt we're going to be able to make it to the boss before the time runs out. Especially since we also have to beat said boss. We're doing a decent amount of damage though, and I am forgetting to recharge or use Guppy's head every time it's charged. Which is probably costing us time because obviously not using it means we're not getting the flies, which means we're not doing the damage. Very surprised if we make it to boss rush. Here is the boss though. 10 seconds. 9. Oh god. Kill it faster. We're not going to do it. This is really upsetting. We found the... Oh, can't get past. We're really just not doing enough damage. And I did mention it earlier, you know. We were behind the curve. What is happening? I can't kill these things in time. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage. I'm going very fast. Like, I'm moving very fast. Oh, this is taking actually a really, really long time. Which is quite... Where is this spider come from? I can't cope with this fight right now. <laughs> Help me. Oh, good grief. That was terrible. I mean, we probably take the Polaroid. We definitely take Guppy's tail, even though it's very scary. We are now Guppy. We use the full card to leave. Yes, I was extremely hoping that maybe we would be able to make it to boss rush by finding the boss in time, and we did go in the right direction for the boss. We're, we're producing flies, right? I mean, this is happening. Yes, we are. Good. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't make it. We're really not doing enough damage to kill Mom in the amount of time we had to kill Mom. And if it'd been Guppy just beforehand, you can see how much difference it's making. We'd be beating the crap out of Mom, and we would have well made it to boss rush. But that's our major advantage gone, basically. Uh, okay. He's in there. Seems fine. This um, chest, I don't know if we've seen it before. It keeps opening until there's nothing left inside it. As long as you've got keys, you can continue to open it. As long as it keeps giving us keys, we can continue to open it. That spirit heart is extremely valuable from that chest. Open again. Nothing. That was a pretty good chest. Doesn't let you... Uh, do the room multiple times, but that's okay. How have we seen the secret room already? I don't understand. Oh, we found it. Old fashioned way. It's left hand? We don't need the left hand with Guppy. What are you talking about? Question marks. Health down. Perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Um. I mean, we could scum the mom fight, but I'm not really here for that. I bought a card, it was the tower, it's not very interesting. I'm gonna stop firing because it's an irritating sound. I mean, we missed boss rush. What do, what do we say? Now we just go and hope for an AWAS rune, I suppose. See if we can get some points that other people might not have found by doing a floor that other people might not have done. We've still got Guppy's head. I did say we could replace it, but I haven't found anything that's been a, a better option. Just It's just a few more flies. Which, which is actually a very valuable thing. It's not like... I don't want to say just in the sort of diminishing sense of... It's merely... But a few flies. No, it's a, it's a few valuable flies. If anything gets too close to us, it will probably die before it actually reaches us. Which can be a problem for anything that uh, separates into... Oh, they did cross damage. I forgot about that. 
Um, anything that gets too close to this that explodes when it hits is, well, when it dies, it could still kill us. So that would be a problem. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility still goes on red hearts, even this blue baby. So since we're never going to have any red hearts, we're always going to have a period of invincibility when we get hit. However, the next time we get hit, we die, so it's not going to work until we can refuel our health a little bit. Which means I'm reluctant to do this room, especially with only one key. But at least until we can uh, ensure ourselves of a bit more... Actually, there's no point taking this. A bit more HP. There's one right now. We're not going to go in there. Look, I've talked about that. We're not taking it. So we, we can afford at least one hit right now. Great. <laughs> It's not even got consumables in it. It's just got fucking Bob's rotten head. Who needs this? Fly's doing all the work right now. We need one of them is one and a half, I think, or maybe two times our tier damage. Which is not that great. I mean, our tier damage is not that great, so twice as much as that is actually really useful. Okie dokie. Well, there's plenty of those if ever we need them. Gold chests galore. The tick only helps us on bosses. So I'm reluctant to use it. We can't get rid of it without the matchstick. The matchstick will knock the tick off, but Um otherwise a secret room? Is that a secret room? Not a secret room. Right, it could help us again it could help us quite a lot by being good against the specific bosses that we're about to fight on the womb and the womb too. But I don't know, I feel like having a chance to get more spirit hearts is going to be the difference between surviving and not surviving. Is the key? No? There is a secret room here of all places. The greed in it. What type of greed, I suppose? I mean, do we just check out these golden chests, see if they can give us something outrageously good to replace our... Guppy's head? Uh, no, it gave us a coin and a red heart. Half a red heart, not even a whole one. We have a tower card, which doesn't do anything for us. Unless we're really into exploding ourselves by accident, which... Well... We have got host hat, so we could just use a tower card and get rid of death right now. And just do a significant amount of damage, which did actually work. So I don't feel bad about that. Host hat would, of course, protect us if any of those bombs had come close to us, which they didn't. But they could have... And that's what's important. More money. Sure thing. Why don't we play this a little bit? Probably um, did that slightly wrong. Should have played this and then picked up all the money. Because then we wouldn't have capped out at 99 cents. But I'm hoping to find a spirit heart. There's a... Um... Oh no. Put a bomb there you dumbass. Fuck that up. Well, it's done. <laughs> Spirit Hut. That's a coin. Think so. Spirit Hut. Key. Think so. It's a fly though. Bomb. Of course you pay up with a bomb. Hell with it. Just don't get hit. Didn't mean to play the blood bank. That was uh, very silly. I uh, fully. I agree. I can hear you. What the hell did you play that for? It cost you an HP. Well done. I'm glad you noticed. Making sure you're paying attention, really. Um, secret room. Spirit hearts. Bombs. No tinted rocks. <sighs> we only have to beat Mom's heart, I guess. But if we want to do well, we're going to have to find a way down to Shoal. So careful there. Don't get hit by a level one boss if you can avoid it. That would be mildly embarrassing. But at this stage, not entirely unexpected either. Try and make sure you don't step backwards into them. That's really the only job you have right now, is don't walk into them. Because that will straight up kill you. You'll be dead. That's it. Game over, GG. So don't do that. Well done. There's another one. There it is. And those things are the epitome of paranoia for me. You have to stand still and hope that you can kill them before they get close to you. Oh, no keys. Good. Means I don't have to worry about it. We did pick up... Ooh... Uh, we picked up, what did we pick up? A black heart. The black heart's really valuable. 
we get hit, the rest of the room dies. On top of that, we can get hit at all, once. And then we have invincibility and a probably empty room, which, now I think about it, are two things that kind of contradict one another to some extent. Ooh, don't like that. Do not like those uh, doppelgangers. Sam I am. We haven't got... Mm, there's nowhere nearby here that really could hold a super secret room, maybe here? I'm gonna go and find it. I think we'll kill our boss first. We've got enough flies that it shouldn't last very long. Then at least we know that we can sort of finish the... Uh, finish the floor if we need to. This is not a, not a strong run. The guppy obviously helps a great deal. But... I've got to deal with the devil of all things. What's in here? Abaddon and the fucking shovel. Right, here's what we do. We take Abaddon. Gives us six hearts. Take the shovel. Which gives us a way down. And then I think we just go down. That was a brilliant time to get a deal with the devil. But everyone will have got that. Everyone can have done the same thing. So even the people who beat Boss Rush will be here right now. It's still pretty cool. I really like being able to get that extra bit out of the game. Even if we think that everyone else is doing it. Many people might not have bothered. You know, deal with the devil. What's that going to do for us? Kudoki. Still learning about pills even at this late stage of the game. Probably shouldn't be taking them. Although we do know about health down already. We just... How many chest because we got Guppy's tail. Ah, I hate these things with a passion. Such passion. Much hate. I would like to have been able to pick up the... What's the other item? Dark matter? It's fear shot but it also does a lot of damage. I think we should explore this floor a bit more. See if we can gain more HP than we lose as a result of actually searching it. Not a secret room. Also probably not. Not a secret room. No keys at all. We really went to town on using the our keys during this run. Wow though. Every fucking time I come into this goddamn room, I manage to walk into a ghost. I don't understand it. It can't be that random. There must be something that suggest that, that sort of biases them towards spawning next to you because this is just fucking piss me off. Super green. Not, not much use, no. Uh guess we go down here, see what we get. Some ghosties. I'm kinda hoping to get some HP, but you're actually just costing me HP right now, which is not not fun at all. Take it. Addicted. No different. Whipworm does nothing for us. Got another key. We'll open this one. A bomb and another key. We'll open this one. Even more keys and some money we can't really use. Well. Not even a tinted drop has shown up yet. Oh, you fucking what? Don't know if they can show up on, um. You know, open squares. Don't know that they can spawn on. Chasms, basically. That's exactly what I would like from those. Three? You're spoiling us. Yeah, sure. Oh, hello. Well, thanks for, uh... Thanks for playing. Thanks for showing up, Monstro. But, obviously, um... It wasn't your day. I'm kind of hoping the Rosary would have... Rosary Bead would have given us a little bit more in terms of Spirit Hearts. Maybe we'll get something from... This fight, though. Did get three from just outside this room. Let's, um, let's take this and see what happens. A broken remote. Whenever you use your spacebar item. Holy crap! That thing was firing before I got in the room. I hate those things. They completely disincentivize. Is that a word? Um, you're using um, because I normally walk into a room firing. Which seems sensible, because I want to hit things when I go into the room. That's what I'm there for. But um, it's a strong disincentive to do so. 
when... I'm sorry, I'm concentrating like a motherfucker right now. It's a strong disincentive to do so when those doppelgangers could show up and make your life a misery by shooting at you because you're firing when you join the room. And actually hitting you. Kill it. Yeah, we've done it. Uh, spirit heart. Teleport. Eh, whatever. Coin. Let's leave. I'm sick of this run. <laughs> I've had enough of that bullshit with the... Should have kept the uh, shovel. Why didn't we keep the shovel? I don't think it does anything on this floor. That's fine. 373rd. That seems like everyone did the same basic thing. Pretty good score. Not a great score. We have come in the top 100 before. But mm, tis not this day. Well, thank you for watching. I enjoyed that run, even though I get salty every time I walk into an enemy that shouldn't fucking be there. Uh, but someone at the top of this leaderboard is boring. So I hope I'm not them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.